Okay, today's lesson is on the water cycle. This is lesson number one. We're going to read this together today. It's what is the water cycle? What is the water cycle and how does it work? The water cycle in nature works efficiently and without fail. It does so because air absorbs and releases water like a sponge. When the sun heats up the water in oceans, rivers, lakes, and seas, the water evaporates and becomes water vapor, a kind of gas. As this water vapor rises in the air, it cools again. This makes the vapor condense again. This means that it turns into a liquid again. The liquid water is now in the form of very tiny droplets that form clouds in the air. The clouds may be carried a great distance by the wind. The constant movement of the air makes the droplets move around and collide with each other. This activity makes the droplets become larger in the cloud. The average raindrop has about 1 million times more water than the original cloud droplet. When the droplets become heavy enough, they fall from the clouds as rain, snow, or occasionally as hail. Rain falls over both land and the oceans. Plants absorb the water from the soil. The water then is released from the leaves of the plants as water vapor. Humans and animals take in the liquid water. They also release water vapor when they breathe out. Water flows from the higher land areas to lower ones. It flows both on the land and below the surface. Water eventually enters rivers and flows back to the oceans. The oceans hold about 97% of all the water on Earth. The clouds hold enough water in the air at any one time to produce about an inch of rain over the entire world. The total amount of precipitation, rain, snow, or hail in one year on Earth is about one quadrillion tons. Okay, so you're gonna answer these four questions. What did you learn? It says, where does most water get evaporated from? And the answers were A, oceans, B, rivers, C, lakes, D, all of the above. And your answer should have been A, oceans. What makes droplets get bigger and heavier? Is it A, air movement, B, snow, C, colliding with each other, or D, both A and C? So your answer should have been D, both A and C for number two. What flows in what direction? I'm sorry, water flows in what direction? Um, your answer is either A, from higher land to lower land, B, from the land to the seas, C, from the oceans to the mountains, and D, both A and B. And number three, your answer should have been D, both A and B, from higher land to lower land, and from the land to the seas. What holds 97% of all Earth's water? A, oceans, B, the air, C, the clouds, or D, the land? And four should have been A, oceans. Okay, you're going to look at this diagram of the water cycle and how it travels. Okay, and then you're going to answer these questions here. You're going to put these in order, okay? So, number one should be water enters the air by evaporation over rivers, lakes, seas, and especially oceans. So, you should put a one right here. Number two, water vapor in the air cools and condenses to form clouds. So, that should be number two. Number three, Clouds eventually condense and turn to rain. So you should have a number three here. Number four should be right here. Rain falls over oceans, other water areas, and land. Number five should be right here. The rain falling on the land flows into streams and rivers. And six should be the rivers gradually carry water to lakes and oceans. And number seven should be the water evaporates again and the cycle continues. The bottom it asks you a question what happens after the seventh step and you'd say that or you should have said that the cycle repeats itself that number one starts again and starts all over if you like my channel please subscribe thank you